Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Look what we just got at Safeway. Pumpkin spice latte coffee creamer. I'm gonna put it, I just made a cup of coffee. I'm gonna put it in here and then put it on ice so I can have iced coffee. But I will try it out and let you guys know how it tastes. Hmm. It's okay. I don't usually like the store-bought coffee creamers. I'd much rather use pumpkin flavored syrup or pumpkin spice flavored syrup and get like coffee at Starbucks and places that use syrup. But this is pretty good. It's not like super pumpkin-y, but it has like a nice little pumpkin taste. So it gets a thumbs up for me. We also got chocolate chip cookies, pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies. These are the best. Actually, my favorite are pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, but they don't have those out yet at my Walmart. But these pumpkin snickerdoodle, so, so good. And then the last thing I wanted to quickly show you guys are we got some new cereals. So I keep seeing ads for this like on Instagram, um, but I picked this up. I saw it in stores. It's the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Fillos Cream Filled Cereal. Absolutely not healthy, but it looks so yummy. And then we got this drumstick. They also had the mint, but my daughter is like, she picks out, like she is that kid that not only does she pick out her marshmallows in Lucky Charms, but if we have Captain Crunch, she will only eat the colorful cereals in the Captain Crunch. And so the um, mint chocolate chip ones had like mint colored pieces of cereal and then all the rest were like brown or like, you know, normal cereal colors. And I just know that she would only pick out the green pieces. So I went with the classic vanilla one so she won't do that. But don't these just look so yummy? Absolutely not healthy, but we're gonna try them out. But that's it for now. I just wanted to show you guys a couple things we picked up recently and yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. The first is the spooky Hi guys, so it is about 9.30 on a Friday. I have not vlogged. First is the orange cream Oreos. These are my favorite Oreos. I know they taste the same, but there's just something about the Halloween ones that is just extra special. Um, and the kids, of course, love them. They love like seeing which shapes they get on each Oreo. And then I also have these from Target. There's literally one left. It's the Archer Farms Pumpkin Spice um, rolled wafers. These are so, so freaking good. Ignore my dirty counter. Um, but yeah, we got those two items and I wanted to show them to you really quick because, um, I'm going to do a grocery haul, um, later in this vlog. Um, I'm picking up my Walmart grocery order tomorrow and I got quite a few, let me think. I got at least three fall items. I think I got more than that, but I know for sure I got at least three fall items. So I wanted to show that to you guys. I think I'm also going to pick up Starbucks on the way to um, to Walmart. And I kind of want to try the pumpkin cream cold brew, but it's already pretty chilly here, especially in the mornings. Um, I might just get it anyways and put the heater on up like super high in my car. Um, and then I also want to get a pumpkin scone. I got a pumpkin cream cheese muffin uh, last week. It was so good. The pumpkin cream cheese muffins from Starbucks. So, so, so good. Um, honestly, I kind of want to get another one, but I really want to try the scones because I love scones and they put like a lot of a frosting on them and I love, I'm a sucker for frosting. So um, I'm going to try it. So yeah, that is it for now. I'm going to I don't know what I'm gonna do. My whole family's sleeping and it's 9.30 on a Friday night, which usually we stay up a bit longer. So maybe I'll watch a movie by myself tonight. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow and I'll do a bit of a grocery haul. Hi guys, so it is early in the morning on Saturday. It's not even eight o'clock yet, but I just did grocery pickup. Um, but I wanted to uh, share with you real quick. I got the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. And honestly, I'm, maybe I'm just like not a coffee connoisseur, but it tastes the exact same as a iced pumpkin spice latte to me. Um, I'm sure if I like tried this and tried a pumpkin spice latte like one after the other, I could tell the difference. But if you 
handed this to me and told me it was a pumpkin spice latte, I'd believe you. Um, it's still really good though. Um, so whichever one is cheaper, that's if I want an ice to drink, I'll probably just get whichever one is cheaper. I don't know. I don't remember how much um, either of them cost. I also got a scone. I'll show you that inside. Um, but I am now vlogging in our new car. Um, we just got a new car. We needed something with like a third row to accommodate our growing family because our other cars just um, they our other cars only have two rows and they won't fit three car seats in the back seat um and my son's seven i'm gonna turn the car off my son's seven um but he's still in a booster seat because he's a he's on the smaller side he's a small seven we did get new car seats for the kids so i'm gonna show you those real quick and then i'm gonna bring groceries inside so we also got the baby's car seat as well but i got this Graco seat for my son um this was 26 dollars on amazon or on at walmart and you can usually find booster seats for way less but the reason we got this one is because it has hooks in the back and I just felt like that was so much safer than having a booster seat that you just sit on the seat and then we got this Costco one for my daughter she is about to be three um, and so I started forward facing my son when he turned three so she's gonna be forward facing now so um, and then I think hers was around $45 um, but the reason I got this one because I wanted to get a seat that was more neutral it was like black and had like a neutral purple like this um because baby's seat is also more kind of neutral like this but the other costco seat was like 40 pounds and up or no i think it was 30 pounds and up and then this seat is 25 pounds and up um and she's less than 30 pounds so um that's why i got this one even though it's like super bright and i don't know i just wanted something to match the car a little bit Okay guys, I'm gonna do a really quick grocery haul because I made the kids pause at their TV show so I could film this without background noise, but here we go. So, I ordered two of these strawberry banana blends, but they actually, um, this was, must have been the last bag because they upgraded me and gave me a big bag of strawberries with a smaller bag of bananas, but it still works and I get more, more frozen fruits um, in these two bags than in this one anyway, so that was an upgrade. Got apples, clementines, a five pack of mac and cheese, two things of SpaghettiOs for the kids, some pasta sauce. Um, I got two of these angel hair pasta with herbs, um, pastaronis, and then I got two of these pasta sized cheddar broccolis. I love these things for like quick side dishes. My husband wants to do like meatballs and gravy, so I got two things of gravy, two things of uh, whole grain spaghetti noodles, and then my friend Kristen was talking about how the prices of canned goods have gone up in her area. So I checked out the canned goods in my area, um, and these were, vegetables were about 50 cents a can, and then fruits and th these same size cans were um, a little less than a dollar, I think like 97 cents. Um, I think she was saying how fruit was like over a dollar, canned fruit was like over a dollar in her area. I'll leave her grocery haul linked down below, but I got some of these just for like side dishes. Got some ranch, um, some soy sauce, some gummy vitamins for the kids, olive oil, two packets of onion, um, soup dip mix um my husband uses these for meatballs but i also like to use them to like flavor stuff and then there's my coffee got a new thing of windex these are all the non-food items got a new thing of deodorant this is the secret classic cocoa butter um some car air fresheners some night lights for the kids razors sponges and then for myself i got a dry shampoo and a face wash and then I also grabbed these little snack things. I got salmon salad and chicken salad, um, which I've never tried either of these before. I've only ever tried this tuna salad. A big thing of Keurig cups, some gum for my purse, some granola bars for the kids, some cupcakes, some unicorn cupcakes. I actually ordered pumpkin cupcakes and they didn't have them. So this was the replacement, which I'm totally fine with. And then here's the fall goodies I got. I got these fall leaf chocolate chip cookies. I plan on getting the um, like ghost and jack-o'-lantern sugar cookies, but actually my brother is going to come visit in a couple weeks. So I think I'm going to wait for him to come um, and then we'll make those when he's here. I also got these fall cranberry and orange muffins and this 
ball pumpkin spice pancake mix um walmart has some really cool great value baking stuff for fall like they also had like pumpkin sugar cookies um mix and a bunch of other stuff too so those are the two that i got a big thing of chicken nuggets also these just looked really good to me uh, shine real made with real fruit black cherry strawberry kiwi and mixed berry and then we also got a big thing of tide pods and then here's just some staple items. We have bread, we have vanilla almond milk, two things of milk, two 18 pack of eggs, um, cranberry juice, regular butter, and then country crock spreadable butter, two things of Kool-Aid jammers for my son's lunches. And then I want to do some like P.F. Chang's type of lettuce wraps. So got some romaine lettuce for that. And then got a ton of yogurt. Um, Tillamook yogurt was on sale. So we have Oregon Marionberry, Vanilla Bean, Ow. Raspberry, California Peach, and Oregon Strawberry. And then we also have Danimals for the kids, some shredded cheese for on top of pasta and stuff, cheese sticks, and then some salads. I got two chef salads, and then I ordered two Caesar salads in this same brand. They must have been sold out, so they upgraded me to these ones, which I'm totally fine with because they're bigger. Um, mushrooms for P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps, some little baby carrots, and then some ground turkey for P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps, some ground beef for um, meatballs, some better cheddar like sausages, and then lastly we have some bacon and so that is everything for our grocery haul we actually only really have two meals planned out for this week okay. and everything else we're probably just gonna wing it so yeah that is it um for right now okay. so i also wanted to show you guys that this is our new double stroller this seat right here is actually a sit and stand seat but you can put baby's car seat right here so we have baby's car seat there right now i'll take it off and show you what it looks like without it um but I am so in love. I mean, so far I'm so in love. Um, we'll see when we actually have like both of the girls in here, if it works out or not, but I'm so excited to use this. Um, this was like the cheapest uh, double stroller that I could find that was like this style. My daughter just woke up, but that was this style that um, is compatible with most car seats. And then here's what it looks like with the baby seat off. So here's like the sit stand part. When you want the older child here, you can um, take this tray, put it on the front part, and then you put these two cup holders here. So that way they can sit on this seat and there is a buckle um, for this seat. It is padded, it's really nice. Um, there's the buckle and I don't know if you can tell in the sliding. But um, when you have the car seat, the tray needs to go right here because the car seat locks on this tray. So far, I'm really impressed with it. There's so many cup holders. There's two up here. Uh, Girlfriend, what's wrong? There's two up here. There's a little okay. tray thing right here. Then that cup holder there, these two here, and then uh, what's wrong? I, I fall. You didn't fall. And then there's like the, I can't even tell because the lighting in here is so bad. And then there's um, straps here. So, so um, it's the Baby Trend sit and stand. I'll link it in my Amazon store. Um, and I'm just really impressed with it so far. But like I said, we haven't taken it out yet. Um, baby girl is coming in about a month. So as soon as she's here, I'll give you guys an update and let you know if I like it. And then also here's just her car seat. It's just a Graco car seat. I had a Graco um, infant seat for my son. I absolutely loved it. I had a even flow with my older daughter and hated it so much. The car seat wasn't even that bad. Like the car seat was okay. The Graco was so much nicer though. But the even flow stroller that came with the car seat was absolutely awful. So I will never get an even flow car seat again. So went back with Graco for this baby. And this is the Graco Snug Ride 30. Um, again, I'll link it in my Amazon storefront.
Hey guys, so I haven't vlogged in like a month. Every single clip I just showed you is from literally the first week of September. Um, I am just, I have not been vlogging lately because there's just so much going on. You know, getting stuff prepared for baby and whatnot. I just filmed a bunch of sit down videos because I'm trying to get ahead on videos for October because I'm getting induced in October and I just want to you know have a like consistent upload schedule uh, I'm trying to get like three videos out a week still it might drop down to two videos a week and honestly in November the videos might be like super boring because baby will hopefully be home with us by November if you guys are new um, I'll link past videos down below explaining everything um, but uh, baby girl is going to I'm gonna be induced early and um, then baby girl is gonna have to stay in the NICU for a while but I just finished filming some sit-down videos to have her ahead of time and now I'm having pizza and some super watered down iced coffee um, and I thought I would just chat for a minute so lately, um, and I know a lot of moms feel this way because I've seen, you know, a lot of moms talk about it, but lately I just feel like the entire weight of the world is on my shoulders and I feel like I don't have time to do everything that I need to get done. Um, like everything is set up for baby. Um, like, you know, her room is set up. We have everything we need for her. We don't even need to have it all done necessarily right away because, like I said, she's going to be in the NICU for a while. And then when she comes home from the NICU, she's going to be sleeping in mine and my husband's room, so we don't even need her room ready. But we finally have everything we need for her. And, um, like, we are ready for this little girl, but it's, like, everything else, like, just, you know daily stuff, getting my kids off to school, getting them to their extracurriculars, trying to do things to keep them entertained, um, which is hard because we live in Seattle and it's it's hit that time of the year where it's raining all the time and so we can't do things outside a lot of the time. Um, and then the hardest thing lately is like keeping up with housework and I'm currently Eight months pregnant and getting stuff done is hard it's hard to move around it's hard to bend over and I am struggling I'm really trying to remind myself that like things like that shouldn't matter as much like whether the dishes get done tonight or tomorrow that doesn't matter as much whether my clothes all the dirty clothes or clean clothes get folded and put away that doesn't matter as much what I should really be focusing on is like you know, just taking care of the kids, making sure they're taken care of, that's like the main priority, making sure they're happy and feeling loved and, you know, just going through their daily routine, helping them get homework done, doing their nighttime routine, all that. I just, I try to remind myself that that is like what's most important, but it's it's hard and I, I lately I feel like I've just been getting really down on myself about like how messy the house is um, and we're having guests like a lot of guests coming within the next month um, and so that's probably like the main reason for my stress is because even though I keep reminding myself this stuff I'm like that's great but also like my mom is coming um, in like a week and a half and then my father-in-law is coming like the week after that there's like so many things I want to like deep clean um but I am also just like I'm having trouble just getting like you know the daily the daily cleaning stuff to keep my house kind of in order completed and then of course um I want to keep up with YouTube which like that's that's like the least the last thing on my priority list um because as you guys know uh, well, maybe you don't know because I don't really talk about it a whole lot, but I don't make money off of YouTube. I make, I make a little bit, but, you know, nothing to survive off of. Um, so for me, YouTube is mostly just a hobby and it's something that I like to do for fun. Um, 
it's really like since I'm a stay-at-home mom it's really pretty much the number one thing that I do for myself and so I'm, I'm trying to you know make time to do YouTube because I know that once baby's born it's gonna be definitely put on the back burner so that's kind of what I'm doing today is I want to get ahead on videos and stuff um, and I definitely I have like so many ideas for videos for the upcoming month and I really want to do them and I just don't know if they're gonna get done so I'm really hoping I can you know like within the next couple weeks really just you know be able to get them completed while also being able to get ready for guests while also just going about daily life and making sure the kids are taken care of and uh, it's just hard I guess because it's like uh, what I want to do versus what I need to do and I know obviously like my our families aren't gonna care if the carpets are like shampooed or not but you know that's also things that like I would like to get taken care of before they come here but I just don't know if it's gonna happen that's just how I've been feeling lately it's just kind of overwhelmed um, and those are pretty much the big reasons why um, it's like it's just it's so hard to just keep my house in order on the daily already and then wanting to like deep clean and organize and stuff before people come and I haven't like really completely had a nesting stage with this pregnancy where like I need the whole house in order I mostly just had like a uh good we I've mostly been feeling like good we've got everything done for baby that's great um and I mostly just want the house to be in order for guests which is probably not how most people feel when they're this far along in their pregnancy so that's just what's been going on lately um I just wanted to talk about it with you guys because I'm sure there's a lot of people who also feel you know the same way or similar <sighs> and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and and man I can't talk I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um again sorry that it's kind of <laughs> I have I don't even know what clips I have I think most of it is like things I've bought I think I did a grocery haul I guess we'll find out when I'm editing but um thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one and uh yeah that's it bye guys <laughs>